Hi, I'm going to make a quick video to talk about something that's been on my mind for a little while now, and that's the introduction or the boom that we've seen within the AI space in the last couple of months. Obviously, with the introduction of ChatGPT, MidJourney, all these other tools that are popping up, um, it's, it's like a new industrial revolution, but with technology. And I don't particularly have a problem with the AI revolution that we're seeing. I've actually harnessed a lot of the AI tools myself, a lot of the content I write for my website now, the blog content speeds up my workflow massively to use ChatGPT. I'm not embarrassed to admit that. I've actually written a book using ChatGPT. Um, I haven't sold any copies, so it's probably not that good. <laughs> but the reason I'm making this video, though, it's sort of I just want to highlight what I believe is already an issue within the wedding photography sector and just sort of put out a little bit of a warning more to brides and grooms looking for a photographer and maybe any photographers watching this can start adding a bit more behind the scenes content or a bit more social proof that you are actually creating real life work. Now I don't believe AI technology will replace wedding photographers. There are a lot of jobs out there that will be not necessarily even replaced, but AI will will do a lot of the heavy lifting. You can't do that with wedding photography. You physically need someone there who knows what they're doing, taking the pictures, recording the video, making the films, putting it all together. Now, in our industry, AI tools come very handy in terms of culling and gallery and editing a gallery once these tools learn your editing style they can replicate it and it's a massive cost cutting exercise time saving exercise not cost cutting i think that the problem lies within people's honesty there are a lot of new photographers coming onto the scene all the time and there's already been an issue with bad portfolios being part of the industry there's a lot of low quality photographers out there competing for the cheaper end of the market and I'm not going to get too political with this but you know a lot of people think that the market's oversaturated already I don't believe it's oversaturated there are clients there for everybody I believe that people like myself are part of the package so it's not just my work but it's what I bring to the table in terms of my personality the relationship I build with my clients my way of working within the working day within the wedding day within the wedding environment my interaction with my clients my interaction with the guests and everything else like that and the other suppliers and the vendors so i know that there are ideal clients out there for me there always have been there always will be i don't want a specific niche of clients to inquire with me because i'm probably not their ideal photographer there are certain types of people that are my ideal clients and those are the ones I'm interested in working with and those are the ones that will always book me. So I'm not necessarily worried. But I think this is a warning that some of these new and upcoming photographers, I mean, the quality isn't always great. And my, my quality wasn't always great. You have to start from somewhere. And there is a marketplace for them, but they haven't already started. They will be soon using AI to create their portfolios. I've had a look myself. You can, for the most part, create quite convincing images using AI technology. Like, I think there's something called Midjourney. I haven't played with it myself, but I've seen a lot of the stuff. Um, a few of my mates who I'm in a WhatsApp group with who are also wedding photographers have played with this and have shared the results. They are pretty incredible, pretty... You can pixel peep and see that maybe to the trained eye, actually, yeah, it's AI generated. For the most part, though, if you're a bride or a groom <coughs> looking through someone's website and having a scroll, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And now what's going to happen there is these photographers, if they're cheating like this and you like their work and you book them, they're going to turn up to the wedding and the gallery that they're going to give you is not going to be matching the portfolio and you have to be even more vigilant and even more careful now more than ever that what you're booking and who you're booking is actually genuine i think it's always been an issue that you've got to look out for someone's portfolio 
um, don't, doing what it says on the tin. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that associate all of their weddings out to other photographers. So th there's a particular style on a website. Um, there's a company that infamously went bust recently. I actually worked um, as one of their associates, I think. No, well, no, I was at a wedding where I think the videographer was one of their associates. So, you know, these people are still talented, but, you, you know, these companies are booking multiple weddings and people assume that the person they spoke to is the person that's turning up and actually it's not so you've always had to be quite vigilant and do your homework in terms of the photographer and videographer that you're looking at are they genuine the social proof that the their work that you're seeing on instagram and their website is actually the work that they're going to produce for you that the person that you're seeing on the social media is the person that's going to show up and so on and so forth so i i mean you know people like me have no issues with that i'm going to create a lot more behind the scenes content going forward i've got a little bit already people see pictures or videos of me at weddings i post that on my instagram and what you see is what you get so what advice would i give to any potential brides and grooms out there is maybe look for testimonials on a photographer's website testimonials can be a great indicator that who they say they are is a is a genuine thing those can obviously be made up maybe but maybe if you look on google google reviews are a quite good indicator um another thing i would potentially do is follow the you know if you see a website you like the work on there you you like what they've written on there about themselves go on to their social media social proof are they showing behind the scenes content of their weddings them actually at this venue at this location taking the photos uh, you know a lot of tiktok and instagram reels content these days sort of shows you like the the finished product of the photo and then like how it was captured and stuff like that i've got to say i'm guilty of not producing enough of that content this season i am going to be definitely producing a lot more of that content and yeah just a message to you photographers out there watching this video as well do more behind the scenes content do more in terms of social proof showing people that you are the person creating this content i don't think there's too much competition out there even though the marketplace seems super saturated if you're getting things right with your website your seo your your behind the scenes content your social media content if you add your presence and your personality to the clients in terms of the product that you're offering to your clients if you are part of what they're paying for and you're bringing that and what you're delivering is what you're advertising then you're going to get reviews along those lines and the more social proof that you can bring to the table it's like building a portfolio really isn't it you've got to sort of get out there and do the work and yeah just to, to any brides and grooms just be extra vigilant i don't think you've got too much to worry about but i do believe that ai content will be appearing on a lot of new photographers portfolios I mean, I want to build my destination portfolio. It'd be so easy right now for me to just type a few prompts into Mid Journey and get a nice p few photos of like a nice beach somewhere in, in Greece or whatever and add that to my destination portfolio and start taking bookings. And then when I turn up, if I get bookings, I'm, the work's not going to look, it's just not going to look the same. As good as I am, as good as my work is, it's just not going to be the same as the AI generated content. So just be vigilant that it's a, 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 a possibility it could happen it might happen it might already be happening and yeah look look for more behind the scenes content look for social proof be careful speak to your photographers make sure that who you think is turning up will turn up on the day and hopefully you can mitigate this potential issue and not book somebody who's made up a fake portfolio all the best see you next time